That is just a farty ship. And there's a duck in it. That's a duck? That is a duck. That is an ugly ass duck. What the? Wario! What are you doing here? Wah! I am Carl, King of Ducks! Where is the lie? <laughs> Greetings and salutations, viewers! We're the Land Stars, and we are continuing on with some more Super Mario Land. This time, the third one. That's right. So, we're doing Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. Which, um, as you can see, came out in 1993. Uh, when we were doing Mario Land 2, you heard me mention that, like... Pretty much, Wario was my Bowser. Imagine how much of a mind screw it was to suddenly be able to play as this guy. So yeah, let's hop right in. Oh my god, Wario has hair. <laughs> he has hair, and he also has a style and helmet. Also, I see your cursor on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so this plays a little bit like Mario Land 2 does. You walk, you jump, but if you jump on guys, nothing happens. That's because you can tackle them. So you're saying when you that Mario should be a football player. I mean, he is canonically the strong. All right, I should clarify, an American football player. Yep. We have some British audience members. Also, that looks like yep. Sonic with no limbs. Yep, that is a wandering goom, and the other ones are, uh... I think they're called spear gooms or pirate gooms, I don't remember. So, so what the hell is going on in this game? Well, as you recall, at the end of, uh... The last game, we kicked we kicked Wario out of Mario's castle that Mario apparently owns. <laughs> well, Wario heard a rumor that the uh, brown sugar pirates, these guys, stole a giant gold statue of Princess Peach. So he figures, hey, if I rescue that statue, I can sell it back to the princess for a crap load of money. And get my own castle, bigger than Mario's. So, yep, we are we are being the jerk. To get money, to get an awesome castle. But wasn't The Jerk a movie with Steve Martin? I have never seen that movie, and I need to change that. I've only seen, like, parts of it. <laughs> the, the, there is precisely one thing from the movie I've seen. I'm assuming <clears throat> it's the one line <laughs> at the beginning. I was born a poor black child! Yep, that one. <laughs> well, that's a thing I've said now. I mean, Steve Martin said it first. Yep. So you may have noticed I grabbed this thing earlier and got powered up. So that is a clove of garlic. And if you are small Wario, it powers you up to regular Wario, but if you're regular Wario, it makes you Bull Wario. It makes you a Viking. Yep. Bull Wario has the butt stomp. He tackles harder. Like, he can go through blocks in one hit. And also... He can... He can stick to the ceiling. Ah. Uh. Also, apparently, his ass is very mighty. Yep. The mightiest ass. Also, why are those blocks so scared? Oh, because it's Wario. When I first played this game, I didn't realize this was telling me something. Oh my god, it's the third strongest mole. It is. But if you hold up in B and you have ten or more coins, you can 
make a giant coin and throw it, and you need to do that to open these end-of-stage doors. So you have to pay to win? Yep. God damn, so there... microtransactions were before it should have been! So there are two games for when uh, you've cleared a level. Um, I'm gonna show off one right now, not the other. Um, the heart one is a mini game where you can get lives. This one, you can potentially double your money if you're lucky, or even more than that. Basically, you pick a bucket. Am I lucky? You get three chances. But I don't feel like pressing my luck any more than that. Because money is going to be important at the end of the game. Also, why is there alphabet here? Well, part of the alphabet. It only goes up to O. Apparently P through Z doesn't exist. Also, so you garlic. There there was actually like a mythological thing, um, where garlic was believed to give people great strength. I remember it coming up in a Popeye cartoon of all things. Huh. Well, I guess he had to have something before he- Oh, that's right, I think it was he sniffed garlic, and then that didn't work out, and then he le learned, Oh, right, spinach works better. Yep. So sniff that spinach, everybody! Wait. Nope. And here is what's going to be Star's favorite hat in the game. I'm not gonna say what that looks like. What does it look like now? It looks like a lizard head. We have the Durgan hat. <laughs> also, Kirby, what happened to your legs? And the Durgan hat even works underwater. I have no idea what it's shooting there. Uh, it looks kind of like the needle power up when you use Koo in Kirby. Hmm. So perhaps Koo is a phoenix. Ooh. Unfortunately, the dragon hat doesn't give it us money, which is something we urgently want, so I'm not going to be using it much. But there are going to be places where I absolutely use it, and there's at least one boss fight where I'm probably going to use it because it's going to make my life so much easier. But yeah, I'm not going to say what that looks like. <laughs> it's... But yeah, in general, the Wario games, you want as much money as possible. What's that one do? Oh, this is my favorite hat in the game. The Jet Hat. If you do this right, you basically have unlimited flight, which I'll demo in a later stage, probably. But I thought Wario could do that on his own by the power of farts. Not in this game. Aww. Jet Wario also walks faster and jumps higher. Look at me go! <laughs> wow, General... you can't kill Suction Cup Man! You can't kill Suction Cup Wario! Wah! Look at me, wah! Wah! <laughs> Boing. I mean, it's kind of what looks like a bunny hat. It does. It's like, the... it's very much modeled on the bunny ears. Yeah, it's just that the bunny rabbit got an anvil on his head beforehand. Hence why his ears are flat. Yep. Either that or Wario is a big fan of Jazz Jackrabbit. Was Jazz Jackrabbit a thing yet? Good question. Should I demo the heart stage? I kinda don't want to. Eh, you don't have to. You can tell us what it is. Eh, I'll show it off real quick. You pay money. I don't remember all the controls for this. 
You got bombed. I know there absolutely is a way to freeze the power gauge. I just don't remember what it is. Okay, that's how you do it. Whoops. That fish is dead now. I hope you're happy. <laughs> oh, you hit one! Wait yep. a minute, that was a Pokemon sound! I swear I've heard a Pokemon make that sound. Actually, a lot of the sound effects in this game are ripped from Metroid 2. Metroid ripped off from Pokemon? <laughs> I think it's the other way around. Wario ripped off Pokemon, got it. So this stage has two little circles in it. That means it has a secret exit. It is technically possible to get the secret exit right now. It's a little finicky. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh god, crabs. It's Shelter with claws. So right now we have all this quicksand and crabby which is which is really annoying. Get out of here, Shelter. Go back to being on a slow poke's ass. <laughs> you know, I have never used Shelter in Pokemon. Who has? I think Courage did in his party at one point. Well, to be fair, couldn't it? Wasn't it you could only get Cloister through trade? Uh, Cloister Waterstone, I oh, think. Oh, that's right. I know you had Secret. to get Gengar with trade and, Al yep. and Alakazam. <laughs> yep. Is that an otter or a bear? I don't know. I thought it was a saber-toothed tiger. Hmm. I could go for the bull hat, but I really like my jets. Gotta go Neum. Neum. Barrels! Barrels! Is there more money over here? And more importantly... Is there a dude with two dragons stuck to his shoulder? <laughs> uh, I can't wait till we eventually LP that or stream it or whatever. Yeah. One coin! Totally worth it. It is to Mario. I, I mean, like, part of the ad campaign for this was, um, greed is good. So this was actually the first Game Boy game that, strictly speaking, was mine. So, um, my grandparents got all three of us Game Boys. Um, my one I got a little later than my brother and sister. Is there money down here? I don't remember. Let's there, find out. There's quicksand. Even though quicksand doesn't work like that. <laughs> it absolutely does not work like this. Yeah, none of these are money, I'm pretty sure. They're just scare um, blocks. So, like... My sister and brother had their Game Boys, and they got specific games. Come on. Will this work? Waga, 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 waga. Waga, waga. Nope, you're a little too high. Whoop. Or a little too low, okay, I yeah. say. Like, I know there's a way of doing that jump, but... We'll just do the regular exit for now. Yep. So, like... For Christmas of 93, I think, is when my parents got me this one, or Santa got me this one, I can't remember which. And, like, this was my game, and it was so cool. Granted, we all played it, but... And now for the stage that gave me nightmares as a kid. It has the Space Quest 4 zombie. Thwomp! Ah. Well, thwomps aren't scary, they're cuddly. <laughs> it's chasing us. How is it doing that? It has no limbs. Thwomp magic. It's going after you by the power of its farts, because somehow it has an ass. Yep. 
Also, the music kind of creeped me out in this stage. At least it's not the boogeyman from King's Quest Seven. Mm-hmm. Up, oh, boiling Kool-Aid. Maybe it's coffee. Coffee! Okay, Thwomp, hurry it up. So this doesn't I come up- I have a glandular problem! He looks like he's trying to poop. He's trying to let out a wicked fart because he's got massive gas. When, when my dad is an EMT, he had a story about that. <laughs> that was, uh, that was long before I was born, um, I think it was when he was living in New Hampshire, I'm not sure. But, um, like, he had to answer a, a, a call at a restaurant, like, this guy's having a heart attack! Um, turns out he wasn't. He had eaten enough potatoes that gave him so much gas that, like, his stomach was pressing on his heart. So, like, da Dad poked on the guy's stomach. Massive fart. All better! <laughs> See? Okay. Shrek taught us a valuable lesson there, kids. Better out than in. Oh my god, you, Pro you crushed him! And got a lot of money for it. What did we learn today, kids? <laughs> Murder reaps a good reward. <laughs> Murder is profitable. Especially when it comes to crushing. Someone giving you trouble and poking you with a stick? Just drop a giant spiked rock on their heads. And then steal their lunch money. Yep. So this stage had a skull on it. That means boss time. Oh my god, it's the thwomps. They're back. Money. Murder money. Blood money, you could say. Hey, you! Where's my money? There's my money! <laughs> there, there are gonna be a couple of places that are really good for grinding money. Not there. I call bullshit. I call- I was on his head. He gave you just the smuggest of looks, too. He's like, I got him. <laughs> that sap. Except now, what is my lot in life but just to keep dropping up and down constantly? Such is the existence of a thwomp. Bullhead. Moo. Moo. You should see the official art for uh, Bull Wario. He is strong. They made they made him extra muscular for it. But did they give him udders? They did not. Boo. I'm sure that fan art exists out there. Probably. Ah, damn. You missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you. There we go. These are fucking looking. Ah! Convey Conveyor belt! Let's see here. Those are some spicy hairballs. What the? Okay, I glitched the hairball. Good, good, good. This is fine. I'm not gonna worry about the checkpoint. I never worry about the checkpoint. Okay, this enemy, I actually vividly remember what it's called. Grizzly that is slash? a pen coon. That is a pen coon. It is the unholy bastard child of a raccoon and a penguin. I am not making this up. <laughs> so this is what happens when you breed your Ursaring with a Piplup. 
I have never used an Earth Ring in a Pokemon game, I don't think. Just because, like, I very rarely own versions that have Earth Ring. Hey, how are we supposed to get those? Welp, tutorial time! Magic Switch. But it was a block. Also, it just reminds me that there was this one TV show as a kid where they had, like, a weird amalgamation of animal critters. Like, there was, like, a lion and a bee creature. <laughs> and then there was, like, a oh. kangaroo and an elephant creature. <laughs> so the bosses are much harder in this game than in Mario 2. Oh, oh boy. my god, my hat! This could be bad. <laughs> oh, crap! And then for the for beating the boss, we get the big payout, which I'm doing awful at. Where's that money coming from? It was Turtle Man's secret stash. In his cloaca, got it. Yep. So potentially, if you're really lucky with the uh, double your money game, you can make a lot of money in boss stages. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, if if we need money, I'm. I can do a thing off screen. Um, I'm gonna spoil this ahead of time. The ending changes depending on how much money you make. We have successfully beaten World One, but you know what? You know what? It really bothers me that we didn't get that secret exit. It really bothers me. Hey, what the hell? All this water wasn't here before. Also, that island looks really done with your shit. So, yep, the, uh... Crap. Darn you, well, Shelter! What the... This... This what wasn't the... here before, either! What's going on? I will absolutely need this. So this is a key. That's a key. What the? It looks like a potion to me. Oh, okay, fine game. Be that way. Screw you, Krabby. Your lemon squares are dry. What the? What is this? What's this? It looks like a treasure chest. That's a horn. What the, what the, what the, what the, what the, are we what the, what the, are we collecting the uh, the items of seasons again? Kind of. So these are treasures that are hidden away, and we are absolutely going to get all of them because we are Wario and greed is good. So now to get through the rest of this stage. Damn, can't go down there right now. Oh well. Swim, swim, fire. Underwater somehow. Yep. But then again, Mario Dr can breathe underwater too. Yep. It's gonna be fun to see if I remember where all of these treasures are. Tell us the secret, Shelter. Why is it that you turn into something completely different when you touch the body of a slow poke? But now that there's the water here, hey! Blarl. Oh, there's another door. Hmm. Where do you go? Dinner World? Dinner World. So, unlike Super Mario Land 2, most of the hidden stages have a point. This is going to be the one that's the closest to not having a point. But it even serves a purpose. Secret. 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 
What I the see you. hell? The I hell is you. that? I like where this is heading. Yep. Respawn you. We're just murdering all the crabs. It won't be the last thing we murder for money in this game. So yeah, this stage pretty much exists just for the purposes of grinding money. Mm -hmm. There's not much to it. You beat up the guys, you get 91 gold. Which you can potentially multiply in the uh, bonus stage. Nah, what the hell. So would you say that this is on Wario's bucket list? <laughs> I lost my money in the bucket market. Twice. Welp. Third time's a charm! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the poor house now. And I'm I in the poor a... house now. And I got a concussion. But with that, we have successfully cleared Rice Beach. But we didn't get any rice. How are we supposed to throw the rice during the wedding ceremony in Rocky Horror? That's bad for birds, anyway. Yeah, just a bit. This is why you should use bubbles for your <laughs> weddings instead. In the next exciting episode... Lake Asparagus and Mount Teapot. That's quite a combination. But, mm -hmm. until then... Wah! Wah!